Hello everyone. We have another problem to deal with. k to the power of 3 plus k equals 10. Some students who are not grounded in mathematics will think we can add this up to get k to the power of 4. But that is wrong. You cannot add this up. The only thing, one of the things you can do is to factorize your k out. But there's no need to factorize since we're not having zero on the other side. So take this to the left as we have k to the power of 3 plus k minus 10 equals zero. What do I do? I will try to write 10 in this form. So we have k to the power of 3 plus k minus open bracket 8 plus 2 because 8 plus 2 is 10 and everything is equal to 0. I am using 8 plus 2 because I can write it in this form and 2 is already in the form of k. Now we have k to the power of 3 plus k then open bracket we have minus 8 in fact minus 2 because the same bracket will turn this to minus 2 and we have 0. What do we do? We have k to the power of 3 plus k minus 2 to the power of 3 because 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Isn't it? Yeah. Then minus 2 equals 0. The next target is to regroup so that we can work with this and this and k minus 2 together. So we have k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. Then plus k minus 2. And then we have everything 0. So here we are going to group into 2. This is the first group. And this is the next group. So we can deal with both of them one at a time. We don't have a lot to do with this. Because we already have k minus 2. But we can deal with this. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. What would you have? I believe you know about difference of two squares. So this is called difference of two cubes. So what do you get? You are going to have a minus b. Then open bracket again as you have um, a squared plus ab plus b squared. So this is what we have. Now, let's write this in this form. a minus b becomes k minus 2. Close the bracket. Then, a squared, that will be k squared, plus ab, that will be k times 2, and that is 2k. Then, plus b squared, which will be 2 squared. Then, plus, what do we have? Open bracket, k minus 2. And we equate to 0. Okay, so what do I do again? I have k minus 2. Then in here I have k squared plus 2k plus 2 squared is 4. Then we have to add this k minus 2. If you like, you have it in bracket and equate to 0. What can I do? k minus 2 is common to these two terms. So k minus 2 is now a common factor. What we have done is factorization. Then here we have this. k squared plus 2k plus 4. Let's have this in this bracket. Then plus k minus 2 divided by k minus 2 is 1. If you don't write this 1 here, you will be wrong. So we close and equate to 0. Now k minus 2 is still a common factor. Then k squared plus 2k plus 5 is equal to 0. How did I get this 5? 4 plus 1 will give 5. Because if you open the bracket, you just add 4 and 1. Now we apply our 0 product rule. Since we are multiplying the two factors to get 0. So it is either k minus 2 is equal to 0 or what we have here. 
which is k squared k squared plus 2k plus 5 equals 0. Now on this side k is equal to 0 plus 2 and we have our k to be equal to 2. So we have the first solution. Now from this equation which is k squared plus 2k plus 5 equals 0. What do I do? This is already a quadratic equation and we can only solve this by using the formula method or um, completing the square method as the case may be. But then I want us to Yes, I want us to use the formula to solve this. So our k is unknown and it's equal to minus um, b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Then we divide this by 2 times a. Our a, b, c, a is a coefficient of um, k squared, b is a coefficient of k, and c is the constant, which is 5. Whatever sign that you have before the constant or before the coefficient, you have to pick them. Now, k here is, we have 2b, I mean, we have 2 as b, so we have minus 2. Then plus or minus, we have b squared, which should be 2 squared, minus 4 times a is 1, and c is 5. So we divide this by 2 times 1. Now k is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 squared is 4. Minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. And we divide by 2. Subtract what you have in the square root. So k is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 is minus 16. And this will be divided by 2. Now, let us continue. Remember, we had um, k minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16 all over 2. There's actually an equal sign before the minus 2. Now, what do I do? Because of this negative square root, we are going to have imaginary constant which we'll call i so our k now is minus 2 plus okay plus or minus pick out this um, negative we get um i then we have square root of 16 this is over 2 right so what do i do from here k is equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have um, square root of 4, um, 16 is 4. 4 times i is 4i. And this will still be over 2. And now 2 can go into this and the same 2 will go into 4. So our k is minus 1 plus or minus 4 is 2. Okay, 2 into 4 is 2. Then we have our i. There's nothing under again because if you divide all of this by 1, it will still give you the same thing. So our k now is minus 1 plus 2i or minus 1 or minus 1 minus 2i. Okay. Okay, so now let's um, bring the three solutions together. Very quickly, we have our k1, which is equal to 2. We have our k2, which is here, minus 1 plus 2i. And then our k3, which is minus 1 minus 2i. So it is only the first solution that is real. The other two are complex solutions.